Good morning, everybody. Michelle is here. September the 5th, 2024, on a Thursday. I think it's a Thursday. Yes, it's a Thursday. September the 5th, 2024, on a Thursday. As you can see, I just jumped out of bed. You know, I got up enthusiastic and happy and ready to start my day. And, you know, it may not show in how I look, but trust me, deep down inside, I feel fantastic. I have my aches and pains like everybody else, however. I get annoyed, I get frustrated, I get um, hungry, I get tired. You know, it all, it all comes into uh, Mm, it all comes it all comes together it all goes together we are um you know we're we're in the and we're in a stage of our life that is ext extremely important and so often um you know we we um believe a lot of things about our realities and we just don't understand the importance of certain things and how we are, you know, essentially just uh, missing opportunities. That's all. I am so thankful, you know, every day I get up that I've uh, chosen to, you know, make myself uncomfortable sometimes, step out of my so quote unquote reality and do things that I know for a fact my family has not done before. Uh, I know for a fact, uh, you know, certain people that um, were expected to do certain things. You know, when you were in school, high school, how a lot of people were voted to be this and voted to be that. You know, you had the most beautiful people. You had the most uh, this or, or that. I can't remember certain titles. But there were a lot of expectations on the shoulders of a lot of us when we were growing up and when we were, um, you know, imagining, you know, where we would be. A lot of us, uh, I went uh, I went to a, uh, I didn't go to a traditional uh, high school. I went to a vocational high school. And that a vocational high school back then, I'm not sure what it's about now. You know, it, it prepared you to work. You know, it prepared, it prepared you to go to work. And that is what's more important than anything has ever been, especially during these times, is to go to work, get things done, make things happen. And so that's what I'm doing and others. I um, I appreciate advanced knowledge. I really do. I appreciate it. But it's not linear. It's a, um, a unfolding when you are talking about advanced knowledge, okay? And so often, and it'll be revealed, a lot of people just kind of cheated their way through certain places when it comes to advanced knowledge and just was handed a piece of paper and told to go out, you know, go out and, and, and do whatever. And sadly, the results speak for themselves, especially in certain realms of scientific engineering and those type of uh, uh, realities that are so important and so fascinating also, by the way. And if our children when I say our children who are now adults like myself, if we were exposed to certain certain type of uh, advanced knowledge, as, as they say, or, you know, taken there, understanding the importance of, you know, agriculture, you know, gosh, if anything, agriculture, infrastructure, you know, the, the workings of energy, the components of energy, you know, all that stuff, I think we'll be there will be a lot more happier people on this planet. I can guarantee you that. I'm happy about it because I, you know, I, I did the, the self-taught of myself. When I say self-talk, I self-taught. I just went to the libraries. I read books just like any other university and colleges do to their students. Uh, the only difference is, is I didn't have the lecturer standing in front of my face boring the hell out of me. <laughs> okay. I mean, let's be real about that. A lot of students will will admit that, students who are now adults. And some were properly guided towards uh, a high advanced um, field of knowledge. And most of them are unassuming. They're just like you and I. They walk around they, because they know they have to go to the grocery store just like you and I. They have to, uh, you know, 
And sadly, most of them do not socialize, you know, for, for various reasons, of course. Uh, a lot of them are reclusive. A lot of them are, you know, kind of hidden, hidden in the world and hidden away from all of us. And that's sad. That's a sad reality because they could have offered us so much and so many, so many valuable things that would have uh, taken a, taken this planet in a higher reality. Now what we have are idiots, idiot behaving, so-called geniuses, so-called visionaries, and so-called, you know, these billionaires, millionaires, whoever they are. Some in politics, some, some, most of them are in scientific scientific field. You know, they're kind of blocking, you know, the uh, the ones with the the genuine visionary uh, innovative skills. They they block them from coming through because, you know, they want to be in the spotlight. And some of them are paid to do that as well. Most of them. Okay. So this morning, uh, like every morning, I get up and I'm grateful. I'm enthusiastic. I'm joyful. You know, I've had I've had my run just like anybody else. You know, I made the decisions how I wanted to live. And this started back in my, you know, in my early 30s when I decided to meditate. You know, so think about stuff, something that you've done back, say, 20, 30, maybe even 40 years ago that, that kind of gave you that push, you know, to be mindful and to be focused and concentrated. You know, and uh, I mean that's that that's a crucial element, especially for me, being tall, you know, skinny and clumsy. You know, that it helps me help me to you know keep a balance. Um, it also helped me to explore a lot of more things about myself. You know, I'm not uptight. You know, and uh, I have been, and I can be. In other words, I know how to respond in certain uh, uh, situations. And I know how to respond appropriately, which is so important. Anyway, so keep it going. Keep it moving. Do something. Okay, do something. You know, decide to think differently. And nobody has to know. Just be kind and gentle with yourself. Know that this is not going to be easy. If you don't apply some effort on your end and not be concerned about, you know, what people see on the exterior, if you're doing things properly, it will resonate with the right people. Okay? Peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains is waiting for you to explore. The lotus, you know, the lotus side of you is a lot of people talk about lotus. Just understand what you're, what you're uh, advocating for, what are you are uh, activists for, and make sure it resonates with you. Make sure it's where you stand. Is it where you stand in your life? Okay? Peace and love. And trust me, I will be back.